So we're doing a printmaking um, project unit and we're going to be using foam plates uh, in order to do this. And we're going to be focusing on an underwater scene, um, a coral reef. And the easiest way to begin this is I have my students find one animal and something that would be on the ground. So that could be a seashell, it could be coral, it could be seaweed, kelp, anything. So we need, you know, one creature that can move around and then one that's going to be more mobile, or I mean stable, uh, in one spot. So uh, the easy way to do this on the foam plates is you print out an image, put it onto the foam, and you want to tape it down so it doesn't move. And then you go ahead and trace it with a ballpoint pen, and you press pretty hard. And you'll go ahead and trace around your uh, stuff, and then you want to peek underneath before you remove the tape and make sure that you can see the lines underneath. Once you do that, then you can uh, remove the top pictures and you need to trace them one more time, pressing much harder this time. You really want to engrave the plate, and that's what we call this, the plate, the printing plate, as uh, hard as you can. Um, we want to have nice, deep lines. Um, and that way, when you print, you'll get nice, clean lines. So whatever you're pressing down on is going to leave a white line for these prints. And then we cut them out, and I have my students put a little halo around them. So there's my hammerhead shark. And you can see I left a little bit of an edge around there. That way we can kind of see that outline. You don't necessarily have to have the edge, but I kind of like the aesthetic of that. And then I did a piece of coral. <coughs> and then when students do finish early, and some certainly will, I have them use the scraps to add extra things that they can put into their coral reef. That way everybody's kind of on task and still making stuff. And I think of these as like rubber stamps, so you get to make some extra ones. So I made a seashell as one of my extras, and then I did a little garbage bag, a uh, little plastic bag. So, and I put a, an unhappy face on it because I want to make a little statement in my coral reef about some of the pollution issues that we're facing. And your students could do that too. <coughs> the next thing we need to do is put a little bit of tape on the back, like a T. And that way, when you're printing, you can kind of pick it up by that T of masking tape and keep your fingers relatively clean. I also use a thick magic marker or something on the back. Permanent markers work best. And just to lightly put your name or initials on there because as students share these pieces, and that's my goal for these, um, that they'll be able to uh, find out which one is you know, theirs and get them back. So um, we've created our plates. Um, we've got our pieces, and now we need to create a composition. And you could print directly on white paper, and that's fine. It comes out looking really good. But you could also print on construction paper or colored paper. But this adds another level of complexity. So if you're teaching middle and high school, you might try the color. Uh, if you're doing lower elementary, then maybe just sticking to white paper is going to save your sanity a bit. So here's what I do. If I'm going to be printing on color, we need to first print in white. So I put a little bit of white ink here, and you know, we just go ahead and smear that around. And I'm going to just print my coral for this demonstration, but you'll get the idea of how this is done. And I'm going to go ahead, and I've covered my surface here, and I'm going to print some white on here. This is going to block out some of the blue so that my color is nice and intense on my print when I put other colors on top. And if you've done this before, you know you don't want to have a ton of ink there. And I spread these around my room so that students have different stations they can go to. So they put the ink on, and then they go back to their seat and print at their seat. That way there's you know less hubbub going around the classroom. So I'm going to go ahead and put this here. We press down first, and then we burnish it with the backs of our hands here. Burnish the back with our hands. And this is where those little tape holds really help. So I take it, and I just kind of peel it off. And then we have our, our white outline there. Now, normally, I would have my students go to a sink and wash this with a soft sponge. Uh, 
And then um, we, we actually have a roll of toilet paper in the room to kind of dry it off. Because paper towels tend to be really harsh and you know these are sensitive and they can get extra scratches. For the sake of a demo and not wasting our time here, I'm going to not clean my plate and I'm going to go ahead and go right into the red. We shouldn't do this. We should wash in between and only use one roller with one color, but you get the idea. So I'm going to roll this out and I'm going to end up with some pink uh, because I had some white on my roller. And now I'm going to go ahead and put this on my coral and go in a couple of different directions. All right. And now we need to do registration. We need to line this up. And that's the nice thing for having these little handholds on the back because now I've got something I can grab it by. And I look for one corner. Line that up first. And then I look for another corner. Line that up. And then again, I burnish by pressing the back with my hands. By putting white there first, my next color will stand out against the blue. If I don't do that, then the color I put on is going to essentially mix with the blue and I'd end up with something more purpley. But this has a nice bright color and it really stands out electric against that blue. Now you can do um, a color gradient as well. So I'm going to go ahead and break another rule by putting one color ink on top of another. Oops. There we go. We'll get some yellow on there. And I'm going to go ahead and roll this on. And now I've got a nice orange. And instead of inking this whole thing, I'm going to do it on one edge. And then I'm going to let the roller run out of ink and go down to the other end. So now the orange is intense on one side and not so much on the other. And we should get a color gradient as I line this up. Find one corner and then the other. Line it up. Press. Burnish. And we're going to lift. Ooh. Now I'm not sure that the camera is going to pick this up, but I do have a gradient kind of happening there. It's subtle, but it came out really well. If you use um, a cool color on top of a warm color, it might show up even better than that. Now I can go through and print other items around my paper to create my own personal coral reef. And this is where it's kind of nice for students. I have them do their own items on their own page first because that's the main part of their grade or what I'm looking for. And then they can start to trade with their friends and like, you know, I'll take your whale for a shark or I'd like to trade a coral, you know, for a seashell. And then we can create these larger compositions. I like to do it at this size first. Um, then we can go to double that size and do 18 by 24 on a larger piece of paper. And then the next thing is you could put several tables together and a large sheet of that uh, roll up paper that's 36 inches wide and 1,000 feet long. Well, pick, you know, 20 feet long. And you could have a side one where students make extra prints and create a larger coral reef that can go on display in your school. So they can have a personal piece a larger piece, and then we can have a giant piece for a display that's almost like a mural. So I hope you found this helpful. Uh, go ahead and click that subscribe button below and check out some of my other videos. If you'd like some more resources, you can visit firehousepublications.com. There's a bunch of my books that I have written there that are for art teachers, kindergarten through 12th grade. Uh, and you can also go to my blog at artedguru.com. Thanks so much and you have a great day.